what's up guys back again for another quick video by popular request a lot of people ask me you know when you're going to radiology what is more beneficial what's looked more favorably upon should you do your prelim or intern year in internal medicine or should you do it in general surgery those are usually the main two primary choices you could do a transitional year but most people choose either internal medicine or general surgery and you know, full disclosures first, I am a diplomat of the American Board of Internal Medicine. I trained in internal medicine for three years. I'm board certified. So obviously, yeah, my bias might be towards internal medicine. But to be honest, in my opinion, you know, there's no simple answer to that. If you're going to do diagnostic radiology, actually, I take it back. There is a simple answer. If you're going to do diagnostic radiology and some fellowship in diagnostic radiology, simple. Do internal medicine. You need to know pathology and that's what's going to make you a good radiologist and it's not just you know you could go into general surgery and you'd see a lot of post-ops you know cases and we do see a lot of post-op cases as a radiologist however you just look at the anatomy you can look up the name of the procedure and kind of get a general understanding of what kind of uh, anatomic manipulation was done if you do internal medicine you you know you study pathology you study the pathogenesis of disease and you study the sequela of disease and that's what's going to make you a good radiologist it's not just about diagnosing pancreatitis it's about looking for other criteria to say is it necrotizing do you see other sequela of pancreatitis and that's what makes you a good radiologist it's not just telling the clinician hey this is the disease and move on it's more about looking for the other complications which can potentially impact patient management now, if you're going into interventional radiology, it becomes a little bit more tricky and a little bit more complicated, but there is no simple answer to that. There's no easy answer. Some programs might favor someone who has general surgery training background, and other programs might favor someone who has internal medicine background. Where I trained, they were more favorable towards internal medicine. They felt that having knowledge of disease was more important than knowing how to suture and uh, you know, having some basic foundation in surgery. And you know, Although this seems like a big decision when you're in the midst of it and you're trying to become a, a radiologist and you're going through the training process, just remember it's one year. Everyone knows that in one year, how much can you really retain and how much could you really do? So with that being said, I think, in my opinion, if you're going to do interventional radiology or just be a radiologist in general, a diagnostic radiologist, I really think that a one year of internal medicine is way more beneficial than a first year a one year in general surgery residency. It's not, uh, this is a blanket statement. It's not true in all cases, but most of the time, prelim surgical interns don't really get a lot of experience. The experience is, you know, saved for the categorical residents, which is um, understandable. And for internal medicine, it's kind of different. Everyone kind of splits the work pretty much evenly, or in most cases, in some programs, the prelim residents actually do more work. They take a little bit more call. They, they're on night float more. So regardless, you know, you get experience no matter what specialty you do. But in my opinion, I really think that one year of internal medicine will benefit you way more in the long run. Now, with that being said, however, no matter what you end up choosing, because like I said, there is no wrong answer, be good at whatever you do. If you do internal medicine, try to be the best at internal medicine, read as much as you can, and try to get good at it. If you end up doing general surgery, better be really good at suturing, because all that stuff will come, come back and help you in the end, no matter what you end up doing. No matter what knowledge you attain, none of it goes to waste. It's tough in the moment, but in the long run, everything catches up and kind of helps you out. So, you know, in my opinion, I think internal medicine is really the way to go. If you are able to do it, do internal medicine. If you really can't see yourself doing that and you really just want to go down the surgical route, there's no there's no answer that's going to harm you. Both are just going to end up helping you. So those are my quick thoughts. Let me know what you think down below. You know, leave leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, and for more videos on, on radiology or medicine in general, check them out on my channel. I have them scattered all around. Uh, but, you know, until next time.